Okay, along with these two terms, there is top down and bottom up approach. This chronology is the top down approach. Is the top down approach. When I say that you have to design a car or a race car, when I say that you have to design a race car, what you did just to design the best possible product, you went down in this manner. Definition you clearly stated the definition that the purpose you said first three. You started designing it for each subsystem. You did the same thing, same procedure. Uh, you built everything very beautifully. You uh, you thought of this building all the things together. You designed a very good product, but you haven't considered what is possible and what is not possible. It means with this figure, my only objective is to win the race or my only objective is to use the uh, complete power of the engine on the road. I consider this thing and I started designing something which is not available in the market or which is currently not feasible as for the technical or the technological standards of the country you live in or the world you live in. Right? This is the top-down approach. This is the top-down approach. Top-down approach is the ideal condition like the Kamar engine is the ideal condition why the bottom of approach says first figure out the constraints first figure out the constraint is not just about the rule book it's all about also about your financial condition it's also about the technological standards of your community of your campus sorry not the community if i talk about your campus right okay so when we consider these things like it's, it's almost in the qualitative analysis quantitative analysis top down approach bottom up approach right we work with this approach we work with this approach while designing it we will go with the analysis part which should have to be followed so moreover like if something new like if you are working more into the research thing or something if you need the very good results you have got a very high time for the research like if you are participating in even that event is one year away from you it's better you sharpen your skills more design more and more then manufacture right design more and more and then manufacture go with the top down approach with the quantitative analysis you got this thing go with the top down approach with the quantitative analysis and if you are very highly funded team highly funded team then you have to the same strategy okay you got this thing sure okay guys I believe like you might have got the gist of the story that we are discussing, right? Uh, maybe many of the things seems to be irrelevant to you because what most of the people find out like if I am attending a webinar or I am attending a workshop or I am attending any lecture, something magic would occur and I will get to know about each and everything in the very first lecture itself, right? Or what most of the people expect that I can give some formulas to them so that they can find out the exit wheelbase track with performance of the vehicle, which is actually not the case. With the practical engineering, what you need to know is about establishing the derivatives. Establishing the derivatives, right? Okay, guys. Uh, we got to this area discussing about the story of the vehicle dynamics. Of the vehicle dynamics. If I have to summarize till now, I'm not just ending here, I'm not just ending here, there's one more topic that I have to discuss for today. If I have to summarize till here, we uh, right now know about the definition, the, the trilogy of design. We know about the theory of vehicle dynamics or I could better say the uh, assumptions in vehicle dynamics, the geometrical approach and, and uh, uh, the physical approach, right? And okay, we know about the qualitative analysis, the quantitative analysis, the top down and the bottom up approach. Right? We know about these things right now. I could better say Q&Q. &Q. <laughs> okay, so we know this thing. <clears throat> and we also know one more thing, the theory behind it, the right quality. And handling. Now, everything has got a relation. Everything that we have got in our vehicle, let me not forget about it. 
everything that we have got in our vehicle has got a relationship between each other among themselves. Okay. So now, the first thing, the first rule of designing any object, like if you are designing a Formula One car, you are designing a spaceship, you are designing an airplane, or you are designing anything in the world, the very first rule is to start from the fundamentals or to design it as simple as possible. So all the complex structure, all the complex design that you see, nobody has thought of designing a complex structure. And 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 it's not fun, like it's not funny, it's not it's not a kind of thing like okay, it would be very fun, if it would be fun if I will design a very complex structure. No. Everyone always think of designing the simplest possible structure. The simplest possible structure. So if I ask you to design a watch, or if I ask you to design a go-kart, if I ask you to design an ATV, the first thing that you have to do is to design this or to think of the ideas to design it as simple as possible. Now, how to design it simple? How to design it simple? Like if you have to design a tower or a truss, how will you design it? You will start it from the base. This base is very simple. The other layer, the other layer, the other layer, the other layer, and maybe it can get to be a very complex structure. But the person who has designed it from a single cell, he knows or she knows how simple this design is. Right? So now I expect from each one of you who are attending this webinar, guys, girls, if you are an engineer, if you are an engineer, it's your responsibility to break things down into the very cell nature of that component. Hmm? Now, okay. Now, if I ask you to design a go kart, or if I leave a go kart, does not take this name. If I ask you to design a race car, design a race car. From where will you start? You will say, sir, I will start designing the chassis, or I will start designing the frame. I will ask. Uh, I will install this engine, that engine, that engine, that engine, that engine, that engine. Very good. Very, very good. Hmm? <laughs> what does it look like? I told you the vehicle dynamics is a compromise between the mathematics. Mathematics, so I could better say the geometrical interpretation. Or even with the geometrical interpretation, yes, you all have studied this thing. The classical mechanics. Yes, it is basically the classical mechanics, the Newtonian mechanics. And yes, there is a one rule with the mechanics. Mechanics never involve the forces, never involves the weight. It only involves the action of forces, the movement, the motion, the movement produced by the force. Got this thing? It only discusses about the movement or the motion produced by the force, but never considers the value of force. No, but consider the motion produced by the force. You got this thing, huh? Okay. In the physics, there is a completely different theory. We will get into this thing also right now. Okay. Whew. So if I ask you to design a vehicle having four wheels, having four wheels, I ask you to design things as simple as possible. I am just going to the very, going to your IQ, going to your IQ. There is nothing relation with the engine or anything. What is the simplest possible thing that I can draw on this board? This is the question that I used to ask to all my students in the very first day of the workshop. Um, so it would be uh, quite same for the people who have already attended my workshops, who have already attended my lectures, my seminars, my webinars or anything. But could be, I guess, something new for the people who haven't done it before. I expect please most of the people who are new have attended this. Um, so what is the simplest possible structure that I can draw on this board? Simplest the simplest possible structure that is possible to be drawn on this board. I leave it on you. Just think of this thing. Okay. Um, um, okay, I got I think that you have got enough time to think about this. The simplest possible thing that I can draw on this board is a dot. A dot. Anyone can draw it. When I talk about the simplest, what do you mean by simplest? What do you mean by Simple, simple, simple uh, could be anything like I can say uh, simple, it could be anything that could be drawn by anyone or that could be understood, like that could be understood by anyone, right? It could be anything like simple, we have to define the simple, what do you mean by simple? Okay, now is it possible for me to mount all the four wheels, all the, all the four wheels of the vehicle on this point? 
or I could ask my driver to be seated upon this point. Not possible. Zoom it. Zoom it. Zoom it. When I zoom it, I will find a circle. Okay, I could say the circle is the simplest possible structure that could be drawn. I have mounted all my four wheels. Why circle is this simple? Why? If I see it from this point, if I have to define it, from this location, everything is symmetric. Every point is symmetric. Right? Every point is symmetric. That could be easily drawn, that could be easily understandable, that could be easily equated, that could be easily occupied. Everything inside A is symmetric to the periphery. From the point to the periphery, everything is symmetric. Uh, is symmetric. Now, if all the four wheels are mounted in this circular pattern, is it possible for me to drive it straight or in this direction or in this direction? No, because my wheels will turn in this right, in this direction. In this direction, the circular pattern. Right? So now what I have to do? I have to change it because it's not serving my purpose. It's not serving my basic definition of moving straight or to the corners. So I have to change. Ah, okay. Now there is an exception, like if you are using the Omni wheels, Omni. In 80s, in 90s, in 70s, 50 years ago, uh, or even 20 years ago, nobody knows about the Omni wheels. Or even Omni wheels are not so popular in 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 the racing industry, in the motorsports industry, or in the um, general class industry, in the passenger or vehicle manufacturing industry. It's not so popular. So I have to change it. Okay. Now you got the idea. Like when I talk about the symmetry, sorry, when I talk about the simple design, it means.